Repetition. He's been red hot from deep, and it continues. Work ethic. Out to notice, he's open right wing. Three ball, a swish. Determination. Skip past notice, spot up three, bottoms. These are the pillars of Dwayne Notice's game. For this sophomore guard, the foundation of his success was built north of the border. Dwayne, from the time he took his first steps, is wants to be a basketball player. I tried desperately to get him into soccer, to baseball, to anything else, and he just did basketball. That was it. Well, I do remember it was because of Space Jam. I know once I saw Space Jam, um, that was my favorite movie. And um, ever since then, I just felt like it was a sport I had to play. And then Vince Carter kind of played a huge role. And right, here is Vince Carter with his first stop. Let's go home. Let's go home, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go home. I'm definitely a huge Raptors fan. Um, I got like the Raptors logo tattooed on me, actually, um, just as a symbolization of Canada and just being from Toronto. But yeah, they were born the same time I was born. That's been an inspiration for me growing up and every kid just watching Toronto Raptors play basketball. It's just like the mecca of basketball for us. Dwayne built his own reputation as a star in high school and on the Canadian Junior National Team, an experience that introduced him to NBA superstar Steve Nash, arguably the country's most successful basketball native. Just looking up to him, he's always uh, lent an ear out to me and giving me some advice. I speak to him on, um, you know, text messages and, and Twitter, and um, he's always been a great mentor to me, and I just always look up to him. A guy who just worked hard, you know, his work ethic was, you know, second to none. I think um, just going to a school in Santa Clara, um, kind of made a decision to go there late, um, kind of exemplified how I kind of came up to becoming a Gamecock. I'm not really heavily recruited because of the fact of where we're from. Went to prep school to kind of get some more exposure and that's where uh, this whole deal with the Gamecocks came out. Um, Coach Coach Figger and Coach Mott Evans saw me play and then I spoke to Coach Franklin from there. It was just like history was a perfect match. The one thing that attracted us to him uh, outside of his obvious talent was his love for his family. He's a great teammate, and that comes from the unity of his family and the support for one another. And when you couple those things along with Dwayne's work ethic, it's easy to see that he was a young man that was going to come in and continue to get better. I just wanted to believe in him and his program and his plan, and um, I think uh, he wanted to believe in me too, so it was just kind of like a perfect match. In his first two years at South Carolina, the fit has certainly been a good one. Dwayne averaged over 25 minutes a game as a freshman. His rookie campaign was highlighted by a standout performance in the SEC tournament, catching the eye of his family nearly 1,000 miles away. They weren't planning on coming down to that game, but um, because we beat Arkansas, it was like, well, you know, we have another game guaranteed. So they kind of just said, forget it, let's make the trip because we want to see them play. So I'll never forget that feeling of them popping up in the hotel and you know, letting me know they was there. I didn't believe it at first. And then seeing them at the game was like surreal for me. Not satisfied with his freshman success, Notice turned to the weight room to lift himself to the next stage in his development. I rarely saw Dwayne. Dwayne came, he took the keys to the car, he drove out um, and just worked out the whole time he was there. He just locked himself in the gym and just had a purpose. We just worked out twice a day, every day. And in doing that, I was able to you know, lose weight, just gain confidence, work on my shot, work on my deficiencies. And, and, and my ball handling and, and just different aspects of the game. And I just wanted to bring that work ethic with me to South Carolina. On January 3rd, his family got its first opportunity to see the new and improved Dwayne play live as the Gamecocks traveled to the city that never sleeps for a matchup with Iowa State at the Barclays Center. Dwayne Notice lives about five hours away from here. He's brought a Canadian caravan to watch him play. I couldn't even describe the feeling. I had everybody come out, and um, it was a great experience for me to see my mom out there enjoying herself and enjoying New York, and then my father out there enjoying New York, and then to see my brother and my two sisters came out to watch me play for the first time, so it was definitely a big experience for me, and um, I'll never forget it. In front of those he cares about the most, Notice didn't disappoint as he led Carolina with 15 points and helped them notch a crucial win over a top 10 opponent. Lost the dribble, picked away by Notice. He pursues down the lane, scoops it up and scores, and won. And that'll do it. A wire-to-wire -wire victory by the South Carolina Gamecocks over number nine Iowa State here in Brooklyn. Now Notice and the Gamecocks look forward, and for the team to achieve his lofty goals, 
It'll need a hefty Canadian contribution.